Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, last weekend, my wife and I finally watched the movie Moana, which I don't know how it took us, I think it's four years that it took us to finally watch it. Um, liked it. One of the things that really stuck out to me is just the beautiful um, visuals of the ocean and the way that Moana feels about the ocean and that line about the line between the sea and the sky and how it calls her. Um, and I just loved that. I loved the whole idea of that. I love, I, there was something in me that kind of felt drawn to the ocean, that feels drawn to the ocean um, in the same way that it does to Moana. And so I wanted to do this painting um, to celebrate that idea. And so, um, yeah, I thought I would walk you guys through the demo. And so we'll jump right in, or I'm gonna be doing the drawing process. Um, I'm using two different pictures. So one kind of, um, because I liked the, the water in that, and then another um, more to do with the boat. So I'll be bouncing around between those two. You'll see those both come up eventually. And yeah, we'll get started right away here. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is put in the line for the ocean. And we want it like not halfway, a little below half. So I'll put that through, oops. Doesn't need to be super exact because once we put the water in it'll kind of end up where it ends up and then we'll put our boat in this area here we want some white space here left by the kind of the glistening of the light on the water and then there will be some other little spots I don't know if I'm drawing um, dark enough so I'll do that a little more along here the water is actually pretty dark in the picture i'll probably lighten it up and then there's a little bit there so at this point we'll do the boat and then we can add in more details later so the boat i wanted to do um, different than is in the original picture all right i put it the boat in once but i didn't like where i had it i had it too much in the center and so i erased it so we're gonna do it again, and I'm gonna move it over this time. What I want is, in the in the first picture, the sun is like, there's a shadow um, from the original boat, and so you see the glistening sun right beside the boat. So we need to put this boat pretty much, if the mast, mast would go here, and then the boat itself is gonna go right by the sun, right beside that glistening part. Okay, so there's kind of a top bit. I, I mean, I'm not 100% using, I mostly want to use the the actual um, mast on the boat. The rest of it, we can kind of make it up. And then it has these, this little outrigger. And then like that. Okay, and then the sail, we will we'll probably add in a bit of reflection for the sail. That's probably too high. Take some of that off. Sail so will go right there. A couple of ropes, we can add that in later. If we don't quite get them there. All right. So I'm gonna go back to the original picture with the sailboat that we didn't use, just to see where, so we've got some white spots in here um, it has a little bit of spray. I don't know if we'll end up getting that. We'll put a few more little spots in here. The sun, because of where the sun is, I'm not going to do it. Um, what we'll probably end up doing is put some masking tape on it. There's a few different ways you can just paint around it, but um, for this time we'll try the masking tape. And I might off in the distance here put some islands. Obviously I like the idea of the the line between the sky and the sea so you want that to be the main idea but we'll have some island as well and then yeah some dark areas in here we can do some of those I guess just to give us a bit of a reminder where we want those we have that little dip in here probably a lot of this will do um, wet and wet so it'll look soft and then we can add in hard edges later but this will just give us a general idea of where we want some of those biggest waves. A few breaking that up. Yeah. Right in there. 
All right. So a couple things before we get started on the actual um, painting. Uh, first of all, what I've done is I've cut a little circle. You can kind of see that of um, masking tape. And I'm going to use, be using this for the sun. So I'm going to be putting it right in line with that um, shimmering water below. And I want it right there. I don't really want it on the, maybe a little bit on the mast. Okay, so that's where it'll go. We'll pull it off um, at the end. The other thing I wanted to show you real quickly is I have made up, um, this is on my sketchbook, um, kind of a, a whole bunch of colors. So what I wanted to do, I, I really love blues and I love painting water. And so I wanted to kind of get an idea of the different color options that I have for this. Um, so I'm gonna be kind of referring to this. I'm gonna have it off to the side. So when we're doing the water, I'll probably be trying to use some of these mixes in here. So the, all this really shows me is that, you know, my different color options. So I, in general, I really like this line right here. So this is kind of Viridian mixing with some of the other blues. So that's probably what I'll do. We have a bit more greens. We're not, I'm not gonna go very green in this one. And then maybe the sky, I might do like a Thalo with an ultramarine or just a plain old Cerulean, something like that. Or even a plain ultramarine, we'll see. Okay, so first thing first, oh, I forgot to I'm gonna take my palette and uh, I'm just gonna spray it down to wet the paints. I've cleaned off one pan just cause I don't want um, muddy blues. This pan, I don't know if I'll we'll actually use it or not. It's just left over from my other painting. So I want the sky to be pretty vibrant, but light. So I'm going to, like I was just showing you my, um, ultramarine and um, I liked the viridian. The viridian I don't have in my palette so this is going to be kind of a pain. It's right here. Um, I also haven't sprayed it. So I will just be using that as I go. Probably holding it. So, oh sorry. So I'm just mixing, mixing up some blue and viridian. Uh, ultramarine and viridian. Oh, I got some pink in there. And then maybe a little more. I don't actually think I wanted that. I wanted some cerulean and ultramarine. So I'm I'm just putting in more cerulean to lighten it up. I want it to be a nice light sky. And we will start. So we're going right across I like that. Nice and vibrant. It will. Um, Dry lighter, obviously, as it usually does. Just mixing in some more cerulean and ultramarine. We're going right over the, where we have our sun. And we'll go around the sail. It does get a little lighter as we go down. So I'm just going to be um, dipping in a little less color. We'll go right across cover up right there. This side, same thing. Just got to be careful of that edge. Oop, and those. Might have put in a little too much water there. You can kind of see it blooming. Blooming over there. Okay, and I think I'll just stop at the water for now. Um, I could go right down over top of it, but I won't bother. So what I'm gonna do while this is still wet is I'm going to take, whoo, threw a brush on the ground. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna wet it with some water and then put it on a cloth to dampen it off. So it's wet, but um, the water is, it's just wet, clean brush. And then I'm going to be taking that and using it to pull some of this color away just so we get some, um, I don't know what you call those actually. Just some of those rays that you get from the sun. Might be too strong, hopefully not. And actually what I'll do, one more thing, is just go around the edge like that. Just lighten the edge. 
can do a few more here. I don't know how that'll look. To be perfectly honest, it doesn't look that great right now, but we'll see. Once we get the tape off, it might look better. Okay, so we're just letting this dry. Not too happy about the way that this turned out. Whatever, I probably shouldn't have, I mean, I should have gone right to the edge to begin with, but we'll leave it how it is. We can pretend it's some clouds and things. This one, you know, there's just a little bit of a few different things there. Once that's dry, we'll start down in the water and make sure we leave lots of white space here. And the last thing we'll get to is the boat. All right, so that's pretty much dry. So what I'm, I'm we're gonna be moving down to the water. So I have my Viridian, I'm just gonna be holding it on the side here. And we're gonna be using some Thalo, um, Thalo Blue. So Thalo Blue is this really strong, you can kind of see it there, uh, blue. I would normally not use it on its own. I do it sometimes when I'm doing vehicle windshields, actually. I mix Thalo Blue with some um, Paints Gray. So both of these colors are pretty strong on their own. We will see how they go. This is looking a lot stronger than, <laughs> than it was on my swatch. Um, and my plan is to, wow, I'm just gonna maybe put in a little more water so that it's lighter, because that is really blue, which, I don't know. Maybe we want it that blue. Uh, I'm using the boat here and some of the sparkling water. I'm, I'm leaving, just leaving white edges anywhere where the water is sparkling. We could have done tape, but it's just more complicated than I want. I'm doing a couple spots that go across and then the rest, kind of like there, the rest I'm just mixing in. now. I'm going to mix in a little bit of ultramarine here just to darken up some spots. So like in here, especially as we come down and then here, leaving some more sparkles. Okay. And then there's quite a bit of kind of little blue bits in between that. So same thing, I'm going to take some Viridian, uh, Thalo Blue, and we'll do the same thing on the right side here. So very light in the back, put in a, more, a little more water because that's quite strong, leaving some white spots out here. I'm not too worried about going over the actual um, outrigger part of the boat just because we can always um, the boat will end up being darker anyway okay and then we'll go a little further down here That is a dark spot actually. And then here, this is a light spot. So I'll go like that, leave that. Okay. Uh, again, putting an ultramarine down near the bottom to kind of make it darker as it gets near the bottom. A little more. And then here, just going to that edge It might be a little much, so I'm just gonna, like this area of white, it's quite thick. I'm just breaking up some of those spots and then go down. Some of these areas like those, I'm just gonna leave those and I'll probably leave that as well. So sometimes the, if you leave the gaps in the paper they can work nicely as sparkles. Okay, so that is probably a nice decent shimmering water there. We'll let that dry. Um, it's probably dry enough that we could go in and add our distant mountains here. So what I'll do for that is probably I'll do an ultramarine. Sorry, it's hard to actually get this in a place where you guys can see. Ultramarine and um, 
a little bit of Payne's gray, just a bit of a dark, like a, a duller blue. And I'm just gonna, ooh, that is quite, uh, quite blue. I want it to be a little less vibrant. And we'll just go like that. And that is all it needs to be. Probably. Okay, so we'll let that dry and then we're gonna add in some um, waves. I had a change of mind. I thought we can may as well do some of this while it's wet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, Prussian. This is Prussian blue, so it's kind of a dark blue. You could do ultramarine too. Prussian blue and um, well, just Prussian, I guess. And any of these spots, so some of these spots are still damp. So I'm gonna be adding in a little bit of these. Um, we have dark waves here. I'm gonna add in some Payne's gray actually to make it a little darker. And I don't wanna do this, uh, you know what, this is kind of bleeding. So I'll, I'll just stop there, I'm not gonna do it too much. I think the paper itself is a little too dry and I'm trying to put wet, um, wet paint in. So I'll let this dry, like I intended to do the, at the beginning. And then what I'll do is I'll wet it quickly with um, clean water and then we'll put our, our soft um, wet and wet in as just on the clear water. All right, the right side isn't really dry enough for us to touch yet, but the left side is. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm taking um, just like my, my clean water. I haven't added any paint and I'm gonna wet, I'm not gonna wet all the way to the edges cause that'll be like, you'll have to paint it all over again, basically. Um, but I'm just gonna wet this area. Okay. And then we're gonna be taking, whoops, um, pretty solid paint. So this is Prussian blue, okay? So not a lot of water. And I'm gonna be adding in some of the places where the waves are here. Here. So we're just adding in some soft waves. And because the water is already wet, it will just kind of bleed in there. Whoops, it's kind of like rounded. And we will add in more later. Oh. We could have probably done this right when we put the water in the to begin with. Um, but I was just working too fast and by the time I was done, I didn't go back. Okay, that's as far as we've wet. I can add in a few in here. I might just do that even um, without wetting the area. So I'll just add in here, kind of like here. I'm using the picture a bit as a guide for where some of these darker areas are. Some of these waves, so there's a dark one there. Again, we'll deal with that in a second. Um, and then maybe kind of a bit of these, few of these spots here and right down in here. Okay. So we'll try this right side. I'm going to work in small patches cause I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So I will, this, the far area doesn't really have many waves. So we'll start right in here. We'll just do a little patch underneath these white spots. So again, Prussian blue, I might just add a bit of Payne's gray just to um, like darken it a little more. And there is kind of a, a few little lines here. That's bleeding quite a lot. So I'm gonna take it easy for a sec here and just let it dry. You need it to be, it, and this is the part, wet and wet is, is such a hard technique because there's this magical not too wet not too dry. So this part here, the left side, okay. This part, a little too wet. Go in there. Again, same thing. Okay, I'm just wetting my brush again. I'm gonna wet a little more so we can deal with a little more down here. 
the less water we put into the mix, uh, whoop, the, the less that it will bleed everywhere. If there's a lot of water in it, you'll get what I got up here. This is what happens when you put quite a bit of water into wet, that, into paint that is kind of drying. So here we're, we're following a bit of a crest of a wave. So in here, we've got some kind of shapes going like that. So that will help define that, which is nice. Again, we'll deal with this big spot in here in a bit. I'm trying to kind of move my eyes down and see the areas that I've already wetted. There, okay. I'm gonna move down below and I'll leave that. This is getting a lot of waves in there. So down here, you can see as I put my the brush underneath it pulled a lot of the color from those other areas, so I might just touch them up again. Okay, bunch of little areas here, some longer streaks down here. Can't tell if I wet that. No, I didn't. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, can do a bigger wave or ripple or whatever there. A few here. Okay, this is still kind of damp, um, some of the initial, but what I'll do is work around it. Might regret that. Might get those blooms. And adding in a big spot in here. few other waves here. Some of those areas like that isn't wet, but uh, whatever. And then there's another part right in here. Okay, and this part, this, uh, this part obviously isn't wet, but I'm just moving out. This part also wasn't wet, so um, I want some of it to be wet and kind of bleeding into the rest, and then some of it doesn't need to be. Here. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit more over here, right in this corner. So again, clean brush, wet an area. Um, I should actually wait for it to just dry ever so slightly, because then it's really wet. Um, it bleeds too much. So as I get the paint ready, hopefully it is drying. The more water you use um, in with the pigment, the more chance you have of things like this, this big bloom, um, which, I don't know. Looking at this more and more, it can feel almost like a cloud of some sort. So, it you know, it's not the end of the world if you have them, but if you don't want them, less water. So I had a fairly watery brush when I touched that area and that uh, clean water went and soaked into the area that, that had the paint already. Okay, this is kind of dry enough now. I'm going to add in a few little wavy spots and there. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and that's going to dry and lighten up. It'll end up being quite a bit lighter. Uh, Okay, oh, we're going to touch all of this area down here up more in, this, in a little bit. I will just maybe wet this spot up here. No, I kind of already did that. Okay, let it dry a little more again. So the next thing we will be doing is the boat. I probably need to add some darker pigment right underneath the boat, but once we have the boat in place, it'll be easier to figure out where that is. 
And because the sun is on that side of the boat, we're going to be probably adding in a little bit of gray to that um, sail, just because it's not. If the sun was coming from from where we are, that would be super bright, but um, it's not. All right. Add in a few of these, and we will leave that. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to the boat. I'm switching kind of my reference photos here. First thing that I'll do probably is go in and do the actual sail. So I'm going to take some ultramarine and we're going to mix up. I'm using this corner over here um, just a little bit. I'm sure. So I'm trying to keep be really light and then I'm going to take a little bit of burnt sienna. We don't want it to be red, obviously, but we what we'll end up with is a gray. So a little more a little grayer. Okay, so that uh, two blue brown. There. Okay. And we'll be doing that really light. Probably should have put more water in at this point. Don't care. Okay. Right down to the bottom. All right. So for the actual boat itself, I'm going to be mixing a little bit of a gray, um, a darker gray, sorry, with uh, burnt sienna and ultramarine. And then what I'll do is probably leave it a little bit on the brown side, um, just so that it gives the feeling a little bit of, of being a brown boat. Okay. And the sun, again, the sun is coming towards us. So it's actually kind of hard to see <laughs> where I drew the boat now. Go like that, get more of that over here. Okay, we have the outrigger, kind of like three poles-ish. And then coming down, probably need to darken up this area right behind the boat. Just add a little more back here. Would kind of like a person. I might use the same kind of the same colors while we're at it and put a person on there on the boat. So Go a little head. Normally I would definitely draw this first. I'm not going to. Okay. Probably too tall. Some long legs. Not crazy happy about the bottom. Okay, there we go. Uh, so now I'm going to again mix up a little bit of dark. So burnt sienna. Ultramarine, burnt sienna. This is more, kind of a little bit more of like almost a black. I will need a little bit of water in it so that it, the brush glides. And we will be doing some of these lines. Okay. Here. And then the poles. Right, and are there any more kind of down here? A few. Picture there's a little loop off of there. 
bring that up a little higher. And then we'll just do a very light gray. So I'm doing a lot of water with a little bit of this. And we will just add in a bit of texture to the sail. Oops. It may almost be too dark, so I'm, I'm just putting in more water. And probably the bottom will be a little darker, like that. Okay. I'll just put a couple of lines like that. Okay. Now we will go down to darken up some of the water below. So I'm going to go Prussian blue, and then I'm going to add in some ultramarine. So that's kind of what we put down at the bottom, right? And I'm going to put in a little bit of Payne's gray just to darken it up some more. So on this, um, because of the way the sun is coming behind, I think I want it a little darker. So um, I'm going to use the same thing that I did on the boat, ultramarine, and we'll put in some burnt sienna just to gray it up a little more, especially for anywhere that's in the shadows here. And we're just going over this stuff so that we get the sense that there's this shadow the boat is casting. Okay. So again, ultramarine, just mixing up as I go. Burnt sienna. This part is sparkling out. I'm gonna cover that part over. It'll still show up, it'll just be lighter. And I'm gonna go right down to the bottom with this kind of darker mix. And I'm gonna get a little darker as I get down at the bottom here. Trying to keep it smooth. We don't want those rough edges. Okay, and then what I do want is a fairly strong transition here. So this wave kind of goes like that, okay? And then we can kind of see that's kind of the shadow of the boat. I'm gonna add in a bit here, like that. Okay, now we'll do a little bit more because obviously the light, any of the waves are casting a bit of a shadow. So, sorry, I'll bring it into the camera here. I'm adding ultramarine burnt sienna for a bit of a bluey gray. And we're gonna go down here at the bottom here as well. Oh, that's still wet from earlier, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Must have been quite wet. And then over on this far right side, over here, a few little broken spots. I'm trying to find a way to accentuate that wave a little more. I'm adding in a few spots here, uh, some darker spots in here. A few little breakers out there. Okay, this wave, there. I'm going to put in a few, so uh, alt, uh, yeah, ultramarine burnt sienna. I'm going to put in some really dark spots where some of these waves are. Wow, that is like too much burnt sienna. It's kind of a reddish. Okay, so like that. That wave is, oh no, I covered over a little bit of that white spot. Here. So I'm just going over and adding, making even more 
kind of intense waves in a few of these spots. Some darker spots there, here. Okay, down here. All right. Pretty soon we will have done too much. All right, we just have a few um, finishing details to do. So first thing I'll do, I'm gonna take this tape off. It left quite a hard edge. I don't know how I feel about that. What I might just do is take a, I'm gonna wet my little brush and just see if I can tease the edge of that, especially there. I can kind of soften that edge a little bit. Well, it's probably about as soft as it's going to be, which is fine. Looks all right. Uh, okay, I'm going to add in a few more dark spots, a few more waves. And I'm not gonna worry about wet and wet. So for this, again, we're just doing ultramarine, a little bit of burnt sienna to kind of gray it up while it's still blue. And we're just gonna add some areas in here. I don't want to do too much. Especially with these hard edges like this. A few spots over there, here. Add a few more little waves in here, up above. Whoa, too much burnt sienna. It's like kind of brown. I'm gonna do a few across there, in here. This wave doesn't actually make a ton of sense, so I'm going to just add a bit here on kind of the back side of that crest. That way then it's kind of two waves, so there's one there and then one here. Okay. While that dries, we are going to put some white lines in there. So while that dries, we will put some birds in. So for that I'm using a little brush, kind of the same idea, burnt sienna, ultramarine, kind of a grayish blue, and we will do some out here. Kind of one wheeling up over the sky, and then maybe a couple way over here. I did say that I wanted to add a little bit more dark to um, just doing more ultramarine burnt sienna. Add a bit more dark to this side of the boat back here. Just like that. And then maybe define this outrigger a little more. There we go. Perfect. Still too wet. 
All right, we're gonna add on some foam and then we are pretty much finished this painting. So I have whitened too. I've cleared off a little space. I used to have a little space over here. Um, I think I was doing skin tones, but I had a little bit of white there that I was using. I don't use white very often, so I will usually mix it up in one spot and then use it as I go. And then if I ever need white again, it's there. But if I'm doing skin colors, I'll probably just go and mix pink in and it'll be messed up. I have changed my water um, just because with white, if there's any other, I had a lot of blue in the water, which was fine when I was doing all of this kind of stuff. Um, but that white would take on any little bit of blue. So I have clean water, small brush, and I want, I don't want this white to be too thick. I want it to be a fairly watery mixture, mostly because I want the the lines to look nice so right in here just like that if it's too thick you won't get these these lines so the key to keeping it watery obviously is water uh, do a few right in here now we have some watery bits there. I'm just going to add in maybe a bit more there. I need a little more white, a little less water. Do a few little spots in here. There's kind of this glow in the picture. There's a glow. I guess it's coming off of the sail, which I didn't really account for. So I'm almost wondering if I want to right where the sun would go through that sail there's an area in here that's maybe too white I'm trying to water it down let's go like this like that just where the sail is i'm gonna lose it right in there yeah just because we kind of have that reflection of the sail itself okay um, I'd like maybe like one more good area for some foam and kind of have some nice brush strokes in here. So right in here, I'll kind of go like that. It's probably too much. Ooh. There. And I'll do a little bit over here. Okay. I'm just going to use white to sign it down in the corner, pretty thick. And other than that, we will recap face to face. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see other videos and what you'd like to see more of. And um, if you'd like to see other videos like this, I do have more on my channel. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.